Now we're going to learn our division facts for the 10 times table. 0 divided by 10 is 0. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 20 divided by 10 is 2. So if we have 20, we can make 2 lines of 10. 30 divided by 10 is 3, so if we have 30, we can make 3 lines of 10. 40 divided by 10 is 4. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 60 divided by 10 is 6. 70 divided by 10 is 7. 80 divided by 10 is 8. 90 divided by 10 is 9. 100 divided by 10 is 10. So if we have 100, we can make 10 lines of 10. So we've been looking at division as counting forwards, but that isn't really what division is. Really, multiplication is repeated addition, but division is repeated subtraction. So 100 divided by 10 is 10, because if we start on 100 and take away 10 each time, we need 10 jumps of 10 to get to zero. 90 divided by 10 is 9. 80 divided by 10 is 8. 70 divided by 10 is 7. 60 divided by 10 is 6. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 40 divided by 10 is 4. 30 divided by 10 is 3, because if we have 30, we can take away 10 3 times to get to 0. 20 divided by 10 is 2, because if we have 20, we can take away 10 two times to get to 0. 10 divided by 10 is 1. And 0 divided by 10 is 0. So now let's practice dividing by 10. And though we know division isn't really repeated addition, we're not really counting forwards when we divide, but backwards like we did just now, we know that if we count on in steps of the divisor until we get to our dividend, we can count the number of jumps to answer our question. So we can count in steps of 10 until we get to 30. So 10, 20, 30. And we need three jumps to get to 30. We have three tens, so our answer is three. Now we could have started at 30 and taken away 10 three times to get our answer of 3. But when you're dividing by 10, you don't need to use a number line. How can we easily divide by 10? Well, divide by 10 really is another way of saying how many 10s are in. And you know straight away that 30, well, we make the number 30 with three tens. So you know that 30 divided by 10 will be 3. Now let's look at 80 divided by 8. But if, we, if I ask you a question which means the same thing, how many tens are in 80, well, you know that we need 8 tens to make the number 80. So our answer is going to be 8. So if we count in 10s until we get to 80, 10, 
20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We've made eight jumps, so 80 divided by 10 is 8. Now what is 100 divided by 10? Well, 10 tens make 100, so our answer is going to be 10. And we can check that because if we count up in tens until we get to 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, we've made 10 jumps of 10. So 100 divided by 10 is 10.